everybody. I hope you're having a great weekend. Scott and I right now are in the car. I know I'm on my back porch. I've pre-recorded a few videos that will be popping up between now and the time we get moved and <clears throat> I'm just trying to make the most of my time. Right now, I'm sure we're in the car driving, bringing Zane home, and I'm probably making a travel vlog as we speak. So I normally do a series on the blog called Ask the Housewife, and that's where I let you guys send in whatever questions you want. Nothing is off limits. Last night, I was going through my emails, wrote down a whole bunch of the questions, decided that I would do a vlog on it instead of just a big blog post because I'm busy. I don't have time to do all that typing. So, the number one couple questions, I know it's kind of two in one, is were, why are you moving? Do you ever plan on settling down in one place and buying a house? Well, do you see the neighbor's place right back there? They have these yappity damn Pomeranians that I can't stand. None of the neighbors can stand it, and I can't stand them, period, and I don't really like the neighbors on that side either. I guess I'm not that sociable, but I think they're mean people and um, entitled people um, and I don't like it here I only like the neighbor directly across from me and um, I'm happy to be leaving this town this house I'm happy um, but the where we're moving is just temporary we're only going to be there maybe three four years maybe less we're planning on going to Florida and um, this is kind of just like a pit stop and my husband's very happy at his job, so we could be here, you know, or be there for another five or six years. Who knows? Um, but do I ever plan on settling down in one place and buying a house? Sure. Maybe when I'm 50 or 60, but, you know, I have no desire to buy. A lot of my friends bought houses right after college in their mid-20s, got married, bought these houses. Most of them were really small houses, and now they can't get out of them, even though they make more money. And a lot of them owe more than what they're worth, and they're small. No. I have been so happy renting, and I'm not embarrassed to say it. I have lived in some really nice homes, including this one, that we've rented. It's not a problem. We've had our pets and our kids, and we just, I still decorate. I am happy renting. But eventually, when we get in our 50s or 60s, I plan on buying a place probably in South Florida. I'm guessing the Miami area. How does your how does Scott deal with blogging and videos? My husband hates it. I have a very personable husband. He's made many videos with me. He's done reviews and he's done blog posts with cooking and recipes and he said he said he said she said questions and yes, we have um, been a team at this almost. You know, I started blogging four or five years ago on MySpace. <clears throat> it's still up. You can find it under Keisha Jaggers. And just click on the little blog link. Um, I switched over to Blogger four years ago, maybe. Maybe five, I'm not sure. And I never even asked him if it was okay. I just kind of did it. And, you know, he loves smiling for pictures, so that was not a problem. And, sure, in the beginning, I'm sure I ran my mouth about my marriage in times I shouldn't have. Um, but I've learned to kind of taper that down. <clears throat> I don't really want negative energy to be on the blog. I'm sure that there's times I will get on there and rant. But for the most part, my husband has been extremely um, supportive. If yours is not, start it out slow. Do it just with your time. Maybe maybe don't put his name. I know a friend of mine who kept her husband's name anonymous. And she called him Diggler, as in Dirt Diggler, which was hilarious. Be considerate because, you know, not everybody is made for blogging and living out their life in almost, a, well, not almost, a very public setting. I um, I do it for my own personal reasons. Um, I, I, I want to document everything, and I'm not embarrassed about it. I'm not scared to hold up a camera. I'm not scared to be in front of a camera or blog. I'm not scared to be on the Internet. Um, I'm an open book. I don't hide anything, and... Um, I blog really for me. Now, over the past, I didn't even have like a Google Friend Connect or subscribe by email. I had none of that shit for like three years. I had a stalker that kept bothering me and um, I wasn't going to make it easier for them. Um, but then I finally started getting, I took off comments and I started getting so many emails. I could never keep up with the emails. They were just like the comments on the blog. And I decided to open everything up and it's jumped, you know, 
the readers have expanded and jumped and I've met so many wonderful people so blogging has really been great and not only that my husband reads the comments and laughs and reads the reads the the emails and you know it's been really rewarding for us so he deals with it just fine will you do more cooking videos sure I will I'm in the middle of, of moving right now um, we should be out of this house by the 10th to the 15th I had to wait I forgot that my son still had school duh and so he gets out on the 10th that is probably about the time um, I will be moving once the kitchen's all set up I will certainly do more my favorite foundation for summer and my favorite accessory that I can't live without my favorite foundation for summer I don't really have one yet um, if I'm just going to be home and with the kids, a little BB cream goes a long way and I'm testing out a whole bunch of them. I'll come back and let you know which one of my favorite is. My favorite accessory, well right now I am growing out a bob and that means lots of different layers. I have really thick hair and right now honestly I can't stand it. So my favorite accessory would have to be a hair tie because it keeps that shit out of my face. How many nights do you cook from scratch? Not many, and I went to culinary school. But there's a lot of nights I'm tired. I don't want to be in the kitchen for hours on end. Some things like, you know, I think it's okay to take some help from the store. Um, you know, I, sure, a roast, potatoes, and carrots made from scratch is nothing. That's easy. But other nights, it could be something such as grilled chicken with some rice and sure I'm gonna use Uncle Ben's I don't mind my family doesn't mind and you know I want to serve them the healthiest food I can but it's not always about you know made from scratch apple pie every day really for me it's about a meal that we all enjoy that we can sit around the table together and that doesn't always mean me standing in the kitchen for six hours making that happen no thank you why don't you talk about your dog anymore? Well, I brought him out here just for this. Come. Come. Let me try to get him over here. Come. Well, no, right here. Come. 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 Come on. Jump up here. Come. Come on. There you go. This is Cooper. Can you see him? Let me turn the camera a little bit. Stay. This is Cooper. He is our golden retriever. He's four years old. And, yes, I do talk about him. Um... I have many blog posts about him, swimming and going down, and playing ball and all that. I am a cat person, though. I breed Persian cats um, and raise Persian cats. Um, and go. He's wanting a ball that's under the table. He'll just have to wait. Lay down. And, um, you know, this, this is a big dog. He's 100 pounds plus. I think he's up to like 110. He's only got like 10 more pounds on me because I weigh about 120 to 125 um, it kind of fluctuates all the time between those two numbers and He is big and I think he's the last big dog we're gonna own I might switch with that and get another big dog who knows but the other night or last week sometime I was coming in with like a doggy bag from a restaurant and a to-go cup and he knocked the to-go cup out of my hand because he's bouncing at the door and that made me mad and then a few nights later I'm in sandals and I come in and he's bouncing all over again and he cuts the back of my heel with his toenail and it hurt like hell so you know I'm done with the big dog but he's a family member we love him and um, he's sweet what are my summer plans my summer plans are to move um, that is a big plan and it's gonna be like all summer long trying to get the house in order where we're moving and you know and still balancing out time with the kids I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff with the kids exploring the new area swimming hiking um, exploring the neighborhood um, some amusement parks probably you know stuff you do with kids in the summer catching lightning bugs that kind of stuff and the kids love um, scavenger hunts so I plan on doing a big one when was the last time you had a full-time job you know what last night when I read that question again because I read it when it first came in it took me a while to really think of that I I've, I've been fortunate um, I was in my first marriage I didn't work I stayed home with the kids they were really young then and then through my divorce I did work and um, I met Scott well, I knew Scott and I finally started dating him and I went to work with him it really wasn't like a full-time job because I mean, he let me off all the time and, you know, pampered me, and I'd work some, but I guess the last time would have to have been at least 10 years ago, at least, probably more. I have no idea. 
Do you make money from blogging and YouTube? Yes, a little bit from the advertisements and sponsors, but not nothing that, you know, I'm going to sit here and brag about. Um, it does help me. Most of the money that I get from um, the ads on YouTube or the ads on my blog, I used to um, sponsor other blogs and advertise. Um, some of your videos pause. How can I fix that? I've had that question quite a bit, and I don't really know the answer, except I believe it has to do with your bandwidth and your internet, and if you're not getting, like, really good internet signal or you're piggybacking off somebody else's, say, the neighbors, I think it's going to be slower. Sometimes it's best to pause the video if that happens and let it play through and then come back and play it again. Um, I hope that helps. Which is your favorite to do? Which is your favorite to do? I don't know what that question was. I don't remember it. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. I got it. I had more of it written. Which is your favorite to do? Drink wine or smoke pot? I would love to hear someone actually tell the truth about their crazy party days in the past. Okay. Um, I partied like a rock star in the past with all kinds of stuff. And isn't pot like all natural tobacco? I don't know. Um, sure, I've done all kinds of stuff. Um, I have kids. Wine's easier. Um, but I'm not against marijuana. And, you know, if you smoke it, then good for you. And... Um, if you don't, then good for you. I totally think it should be legalized, and I think it's better for you than cigarettes. <laughs> Do you think Jody Arias is guilty and deserves to die? Now, obviously, this comes from some reader of my blog who has seen a lot of the posts about me watching the Jody Arias trial. That is a very difficult question to answer. Yes, she's guilty of murdering Travis Alexander in a horrific way, and the jury found her guilty of murder one and um, they found it to be cruel which it was you don't stab somebody you love or loved in the heart then 29 times well 29 times all together and then a whole bunch in the back and then slice their throat and shoot them without it being cruel he had to feel immense pain do I think she deserves to die probably do I support the death penalty not really um, there's, I know, I believe in all of my heart that there's been innocent people sentenced to death. And, you know, what makes me want to, like, end the death penalty altogether is the mass school shootings and the workplace shootings because, and the movie theater shootings. I think enough people are giving their lives and taking lives. And I think, you know, life is precious. And, yes, what she did was very horrific. I don't know if killing her will do anything to alleviate the pain of the Alexander family. They think it will, but I don't think it will. Um, I don't really support it. I, um, I think she should be in prison for the rest of her life without the chance of parole. But then again, I don't think she'd ever do it again. So, you know, do you, you have to think about would they be a danger again? I don't really know if that would be the case with her. But I think she lied and lied and lied and lied and lied. And I guess, I guess she um, planned it. In some ways, I think she did. In some ways, I think she didn't. Um, but I do know she finally admitted to it. And her blood and her prints were all over that crime scene. And I know that his family is in immense pain. And um, I think that life in prison would be appropriate with no chance of parole. So that would be natural life. What purse are you using now? I should have went and got it. Um, it's just a slatchel bag, and it is brown suede. You seem to get along with your ex. How do you make that happen? Well, you know, it's not always happened. Um, I didn't divorce him because I wanted to be friends with him. Um, but life has a funny way of working out. We hated each other um, in the beginning of our divorce. We fought like tooth and nail for every little thing that came up and um, throughout the years we have softened we have to co-parent and 
I hope that's not one of those yappity dogs. We have to co-parent, and um, we have to love our kids more than we hate each other. But I don't think we really hate each other now. I don't hate him. Um, we talk often, and um, there are good days and bad days. He doesn't always agree with my parenting skills or ways, and the same goes with me and him. But time, honestly, has really helped. We've been, like, apart for 10 years, maybe a little more, I don't remember. So life is really busy for me, and the camera just got off. I have no idea why. Um, maybe the video is too long, and if it is, I'll try to edit it. Um, right now, I have been packing up the house like a mad woman, but forgot Jackson had school till the 10th, actually the 12th, but I'm thinking I could take him out on the 10th. Um, but I've been packing. There's like six bowls, six plates, six forks. I mean, just enough for us and the kids and my mom. Um, my mom and Brittany flew in on Thursday and are watching the house for us and Jackson while we are in the car going to get Zane. So I'm sure I'm vlogging right now. Um, and as soon as we get back, I will be doing more packing and working on that nasty garage of ours. And it's bad. I'm not going to lie. And um, what else? Moving. And that's going to be a really big deal. It's a lot of stuff we have to move. And, you know, we want to decorate the house. And we definitely want to get some more furniture. I want a desk from Ikea. And we're thinking about getting a new computer for, you know, like a home computer. Um, and what else? We have so much going on that I've been really busy. I'm trying to do more videos because it's quicker for me to get on here or speak. Even if, you know, I'm not looking perfect. And there's plenty of days that I really... Um, don't care, you know, I'll come on here with my hair in a ponytail. I'm not one of the bloggers that I have to, like, put on all the jewelry in my, in my bathroom, um, to come on here and make a video, so I can get the videos done pretty fast. Um, and, um, once we get moved, we'll be just trying to get settled. I'll do lots of vlogs, and I'll probably do some, like, home type of videos. Um, and I'm sure we're going to be exhausted when we get back from Louisiana. But we're going to finish getting the house packed up and cleaned up. I really want to clean it well. We've talked about hiring somebody to clean it, which we might. We might do it ourselves. Um, if I can get it done myself, I wouldn't mind doing that. Um, I do have a um, video coming up of the move and all that and how I pack and some packing tips and that kind of stuff. But, you know, I'm not quite ready to, to get that done. And... Um, what else? Lots of videos coming up. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I got quite a few reviews and um, lots of different stuff ready to um, come up on YouTube. So.